Hey guys, I don't know if the picture quality is any better, but I'm filming this on a Canon XA10 right now. Um, this is the camera that my school uses. I have a project that I have to do like fucking early as hell in the morning. So um, we usually keep the cameras locked up in my school's um, classroom, but uh, since we have to be there so early, he let me take it home for the night. So I'm trying this little puppy out, seeing if, uh, seeing if I can get a video up that's in a higher quality than 720 like I have on my normal camera. I can't wait to own one of these myself one day. Anyway, uh, I keep looking at myself in the damn thing. But uh, I can actually flip the screen around and see myself to see if it looks like hell or not because I'm just guessing when I make all these other videos because that flip cam sucks ass. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to quickly review the new uh, Death From Above 1979 album. Holy shit, you guys. This album kicks fucking ass. From beginning to end, this album just never stops rocking. I had never heard of this band um, before the release of this album, honestly. And when I went to listen to their last album, um, You're a Woman, I'm a Machine, I believe it was called, I didn't like it at all. Um, I thought it was way too harsh, way too much chaos, and a whole lot of people are really looking down on this new uh, Death from Above 1979 because it sounds too clean. It sounds too poppy, especially the single Trainwreck 1979. I gotta totally disagree. I I love this album. This album sounds perfect the way it is now. Um, yeah, seriously, there's not much I can say about it. The riffs, the guitar riffs on this thing are insane. There's like a thousand like different instrumental breaks going on in here with some of the guitars on this album too that just sound fucking insane, dude. I mean like the drums will stop, everything will stop, and then a new guitar riff will come up in the middle of one of these tracks, and it just sounds so epic. The last track on this album, The Physical World, actually has one of the more interesting ones, one of those, uh, those instrumental breaks near the end of it, where it sounds a whole lot like Black Sabbath guitar work to me. Um, there's just a whole lot of influences going in and out of this thing, honestly. Just straight up hard rock, no electronics, definitely one of my top favorite albums of the year. This album just kicks so much fucking ass. I mean, from beginning to end, there's not a single song that I hate on this thing. And what's so cool about it, if you love rock music, if you love any form of just straight up rock music, you're probably going to enjoy this thing. Either their old album, this album, this band is just made for you, honestly. They just play straight up hard rock music and don't give no fucks. You know, it's really, it's really good shit. I, I love this album. The biggest thing I love so much about it is the flow on this thing. Like I said, it's from beginning to end, tracks end, and then the next track is like starting at the end of that track. It just flows perfectly together. Love it. Just love it. I think they did a great job on this thing. I don't know. Favorite album of the year? I don't know. It's um, it's hard to dis it's hard to say right now. But <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I keep listening to it over and over and over and over. It's so easy to just listen to this thing over and over again. So anyway, seriously, go check it out. It's really cool. Hard rock, just epic, epic songs. Uh, great voice on here. Great single. Um, yeah, so cool. Mr. Reno1235, I'll see you guys later.